Seismo Electromagnetic Satellite Mission, Zhangheng I, successfully reached its designated orbit after launch on board the Long March 2D rocket from China's Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center at 3.51 p.m. February 2, 2018. The satellite is operating on a sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of 507 kilometers. It has a five-year lifetime and a mass total 730 kilograms. Making full use of space technology to build a space air ground integrated stereoscopic seismic monitoring system is a key measure to improve earthquake monitoring capabilities. In the formation of an earthquake, Multiple physical processes generate electromagnetic radiation, which goes up to land surface, the atmosphere, and ionosphere. We have been long engaged in the research project of monitoring and studying the pre-earthquake abnormalities of electromagnetic fields and waves. The project is based on clear-cut physical mechanism. In the project, we have gathered a large amount of data on earthquakes and explored a new methods in earthquake forecasting. However, up to now, observation of Earth's interior is still very limited. The complexity of observation environment has brought great hindrance to the research. Upon reaching the designated orbit, Zhangheng I has become the first space-based platform in China's stereoscopic earthquake monitoring system. It is also the first satellite launched under the China Geophysical Field Detecting Satellite Mission. It also carries some payloads from Italy and Austria. The Zhangheng I satellite is a scientific achievement of interdisciplinary, interdepartmental, and transnational cooperation. China Earthquake Administration assumed overall responsibility for the project. Research and development was assigned to various companies and institutions such as China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, China Academy of Sciences, China Electronics Corporation, Beijing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, The Zhangheng I satellite is built on the reliable CAST-2000 Universal Compact Satellite Platform. Its design is based on the lithosphere, atmosphere, inosphere, ionosphere, coupling mechanism, combined with studies on electromagnetic emission and its transmission patterns. The satellite carries eight payloads of three categories, including a high-precision magnetometer, a surge coil magnetometer, an electric field detector, a plasma analyzer, a long mule probe, a GNSS radio occultation receiver, a tri-band beacon, and high-energy particle detector. With the help of the Zhangheng I satellite, we will be able to analyze Earth's interior and the interactions between various geological systems especially interactions between the ionosphere and other layers of the Earth. It will carry out real-time tracking and a monitoring on China and neighboring regions and obtain data on global geological, electromagnetic field, and ionosphere and their changes, providing valuable data for research on seismic monitoring. The Zhangheng I satellite sees inside the Earth by watching high up in the space overseeing the whole planet from above. Earthquake-related ionospheric disturbances were first discovered by Soviet Union scientists in 1960s. China also observed ionospheric disturbances via land-based radar systems when an earthquake devastated Tangshan City in 1976. Chinese seismologists cooperating with Russian, French, and Italian colleagues carried out extensive case studies on earthquake of magnitude 7 and above globally and earthquakes of magnitude 6 and above in China. 
The researchers also gather multi-dimensional statistics on ionospheric disturbances of earthquakes of magnitude 5 and above globally. Based on this research, they developed a theory where low-frequency electromagnetic waves goes up into the ionosphere. It provided crucial scientific basis for the development of the Zhanghong the first satellite. And comparison between ground-based data and satellite data will be of great help to understand this mechanism of lithosphere, atmosphere, ionospheric coupling. Planning for the satellite kicked off in February 2003 after a joint conference of China Earthquake Administration, China National Space Administration, Ministry of Science and Technology, National Natural Science Foundation of China, Chinese Academy of Sciences. The meeting formally proposed the development of the electromagnetic monitoring satellite. From then on, researchers embarked on a long march for scientific and technological breakthrough. The Zhanghen the first satellite, along with the carrier rocket, gained approval from China National Space Administration and China Earthquake Administration in a project reviewing meeting on June the 27th, 2017. Uh, making the effort to collect the state of the art uh, of all uh, measurements that uh, could be related uh, to phenomena connected to geomagnetic uh, activity induced by seismicity. The Zhanghang first satellite will monitor the whole planet, breaking through the limitations of land based probes. It can maintain dynamic monitoring of the whole country and the global three dimensional geophysical field. It helps to form an initial whole country stereoscopic monitoring system, providing key basic data support for studies on earthquake monitoring, geophysics, space physics, space weather monitoring and warning, communication and navigation as well as environment monitoring, which promotes the development of geoscience and, ge and space science. In addition, the high-precision geophysics probe satellite orbiting with multiple payloads can be beneficial to relevant basic science researchers, improving research capabilities in geophysics, remote sensing and interaction of, Earth, of Earth's layers. In an ordinary office building in Beijing, seismologists are closely following the status of Zhang the I and the data is sent back. With help of these data, they are getting ever closer to realizing their goals. At the moment, intense commissioning testing of Zhanghong the first satellite is being carried out smoothly. Results of completed tests on various functions and performance have met with design requirements in general. China's first set of global geomagnetic field and ionosphere status was generated with data from Zhanghong the first. The results were consistent with internationally recognized ones and the same with results from European Space Agency's Swarm Constellation. The Zhanghen I also identified the sources of artificial very low frequency VLF emission around the world, laying foundation for better understanding of the lithosphere, atmosphere, ionosphere, coupling mechanism, and earthquake-related ionospheric disturbances. China officially initiated its National Geophysical Field Probe Satellite Program 
upon releasing a 10-year development plan for civilian space infrastructure in 2015. Up to now, project feasibility assessment of the second Seismo electromagnetic satellite has been completed. Initial designing is underway. A gravity gradient satellite is in pre-development stage. According to the plan, the series geophysical field detecting satellites will be able to relay on orbit. Data collected by the Zhanghen I satellite will be released to scientists home and abroad for free upon the completion of tests pursuant to Chinese data management regulations.